Hey YouTube, um, I don't know if I can see be seen on this video or not. Uh, there we go. Um, okay, this video is made in response to um, um, a Godox user who is having issues to as to whether his Godox system is utilizing TTL when he's including flashes such as these. Um, this one here is uh, Canon 600EXRT. I do apologise for the cluttered space I'm in, but it's far too cold to do this outside. And this is the Young Neo equivalent. This is a 600YNRT. Uh, now, both of these are on the Godox R1 receiver. Both of them are on channel 1. And... The Young Neo is in Group C. The Canon is in Group B. The settings on the flash are just turn it on. Make sure your radio signal isn't switched on here. Um, likewise with this one, make sure there's no radio um, transmitter up here. Sorry, this light is is kind of getting in the way. Of things. I don't think I can turn it off though. Um, and here we have, turn that to the side, turn it to the other side, it's a Godox AD600B Wistro, it's, it's, it's got the Wistro badge on it, uh, AD600B. This is the TTL version, and, and at the moment you can see it's in Group A channel 1 as well, so they're all in the same channel, um, and but all in different groups. Now, our model for this is this little Winnie the Pooh that's on top of the unit. I've not got much battery left in this camera, so this 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 could be the biggest fail ever. Top of the camera, we have the 600, sorry, we have the X-Pro uh, transmitter. And at the moment, the only light that's going to flash when I flash the camera, try and put this forward just a little bit, will be the AD600, so let's just give that a quick shot. And you see it's in TTL. Now, the one thing you'll see here on TTL, it's shown zero, zero evaluation. There's no plus or minus exposure. If we go to the top of the controller here, uh, sorry, when we move up to the top group, I'm gonna dial that down. So we're now showing minus three on this and it still shows as zero here. And when I shoot that, if I look at the back of the camera, there's a picture there show at minus three EV. It's pitch dark in here, so three stops of no light if you like. And and there's a shot before where it was at TTL. So the reading here doesn't correspond with what's happening, what, what, what the, the, the flash is actually doing. So I'm now going to take it back up to, let's just go one, oops, one shot under, one stop under, and again we'll take a shot, and you get two pops, one that's because it's in the TTL mode. So again, there's there's it with just one shot on uh, one stop under, two three stops under, and and proper TTL mode. So you can see that the control of this is actually doing it. And and likewise, let's go over. Let's take it three stops over. And you see here, it's still showing zero plus or minus. But if we take it three shots over and we look at the image, and you can see the image is way blown out, getting blinkies, I hope you can see that, that's the image I was just taken, and if I take it down to there, you'll see we're getting blinkies, it's definitely overexposed, there was one stop under, three stops under, and you get the drift. So, what you're seeing on the dial here, ignore. Go with what you're seeing up here, so that's one stop. I'm now going to turn this off, so hit the mode button. Oops, so easy. Let's uh, let's hit the mode button again. 
you have to highlight your light first. So take it back down to zero. Okay, that's it back down at zero. And if we highlight again, hit mode now, and then hit it again, that's it turned off. And let, while we're there, let's just go back there. There's manual now showing. Manual showing there at 1 16th. And you can see it's changed on here straight away to 1 16th. So we're gonna hit the mode button again. I turn the, the light off. And then we're gonna go to B. And I can't remember what B was. So a little down arrow there, that's the up arrow, down arrow there, uh, then mode, and we've turned mode to, let's just leave it at TTL, and I can't remember, so I'm just going to have to move this thing about, I'm in a really cramped space here, it's far too cold to do this outside, so, so who was B, B is the cannon, let's work with the young new, because that's, I think that's what my uh, subscribers got. So Young Nuo at the moment is shown manual. I'm just going to leave it there. And that should be enough to put some light over towards our model. Our model Winnie the Pooh. So we'll turn B off. Mode B. I keep forgetting you have to highlight B. Press it once. Press it twice. That's off. And we'll go down to C. Which is the Young Nuo. That's on. Uh, it's at TTL. And let's just put it down to zero exposure. So we should we should get a reasonably good exposure from that. And we'll just take the shot for there. And quite clearly, that's if it's it's aimed at the it's aimed into darkness essentially. So that that's that's looking a little bit overexposed. But that's kind of what I would expect from it's the the flash is just there and there. So again. So you can see this flash in. Hopefully that's been caught there. And you can see on the actual thing there, that exposure is not too bad. And if we go, there's tiny, tiny wee blinkies. And um, there's something that's white behind the ca uh, that candle is quite light in color. So that's not too bad. So let's try all that exposure up now. So highlight again. And let's just go straight up to the three stops over. So as long as this picture is brighter, then we know that the control for the TTL is working in the flash as well. So let's go. And you'll see there, it's flashing, blinkies. So this shot here is definitely a lot brighter than that shot there. Okay, so it's definitely working, definitely hitting the TTL. And likewise, if we go over to the flash and turn it round, you'll see it's shown ETTL on the back. And if I just go back over to the control, control here, and we hit, uh, highlight it and hit mode once. That's in manual. Power set at 130 second, 132 power. And that'll probably be a dark picture at 132 for there because the flash is actually pointing in the wrong direction. But you'll see for there it's actually changed it to manual and it's at 132 power. Now B is a Canon. And likewise Canon at the moment is shown on manual. So let's turn this one off just now. Mode. Highlight, uh, highlight it and then hit mode. So that's that one off. Nothing will flash now, so if we go up the way, uh, mode, so again, the, the flash will need to be turned around. Flash is turned, it's pointing roughly in the right direction, probably pointing the wrong direction actually, that's a bit better. So, pointing that one from there, over here, and let's see if that one works. And yep, you'll see it's a relatively decent exposure there. It's not blown out. And so there you go. And if we turn, if we look at the back of the flash, it was TTL. We are still in TTL there. Don't fall. 
And I'm now going to change it on the top of here to manual. So again, highlight, hit mode. That's in manual, 116 power. It's probably not going to be bright enough to do anything but 116 for mirror, but let's try. Yeah, we've got a light there, 116. So let's turn this round and you'll see it's now showing manual 116 power on the back of this. So let's try them all on. So let's put them all on. So we'll leave A as the... Uh, so let's go to the top, hit that. Hit that, so A, hit mode, and we'll leave that at 116 power, that's uh, AD600. And we'll go down C, which is a Yong Neo, hit mode, and we'll leave that in TTL. Uh, it's a TTL plus 3, so I'm just going to turn it back down to normal evaluative. So that's that. And you'll see on the flash, on the camera but at 1 3 20th we can hit the sync button shows you the high speed sync although you don't need it really with Canon it just does it anyway and now we should be really quite well lit now we turn the young new around so we have the young new TTL Canon, uh, 116 power. I'm trying to follow its stand, there we go. So we have the Yolduro TTL Canon 116 power, and this one here is still pointing in the wrong direction, that's fine for the moment. And we have a shutter speed of 1 3 20th. We've got high speed sync showing, we'll hit the sync button, so we've got high speed sync showing, so let's see. And you see that's nice and bright. And I'm just going to put the Young Neo up on its own. So there's the Young Neo. So this should be well blown out again. And you can see we've got the blink case. It's not pointing in the same direction. That's why it doesn't look as bright. Let's point it in the direction it was pointed at. I've now got it pointing up towards the sky a little. Bring it over here a bit. Sorry, having a look at my hand there. Right, so you all know it's pointing in the same direction there. So let's try that again. And again, we'll have a short speed of 1 3 20th. And we'll so think you'll agree all these blinkies here. If we turn the young new down. That should instantly get rid of these blinkies. The young new is back to zero EV. And it should be... Today there. And you'll see we've got no blinkies here. Tiny, tiny wee ones, but that's, we've got two flashes pointing that. Compared with that one when the young new is turned up. So, this X Pro is working now. If when you first turn it on, it doesn't work, change your channel. Change your channel on this and then change it back. Because um, it didn't work with me the first time I tried this, then it did work. Sync, press the sync button, get the high speed sync here. And just to show you, this also works with a flash, uh, with the strobe as well. So now we should be really blown out. I'm going to really turn the strobe up. Let's see the power on the strobe, which is, uh, so hit that, and we'll go up to group A. You could also select it for the side, but um, let's put that up to quarter power. And let's see the side, see the quarter power, showing you the H for the high speed sync. And once again, our battery is almost dying in the camera, so we'll get one more pop out of this. One, two, three. And you see when this one has been turned up to quarter power. Now, and this one here is just on is that one, two. Hopefully you're seeing these flashes in this video. So there you go. That's all the settings you need. You don't need to set anything on your on your Canon or Yongnuo speedlights. Just turn them on, on manual, 
put them onto the receiver. Uh, don't set high speed sync on on the triggers on the camera on the flash itself. All the controls come from here. I'm sorry, this video is. Uh, Sorry this video is a bit uh, sketchy and we're in such a cluttered space but um, this is just one of the subscribers, he's having issues with the Young Neo high speed sync um, so that, that works quite well. I'll try and do this video again with maybe a couple of cameras so you can see everything going together. Um, the last thing I do, uh, or I didn't do actually, if we go into the B Take that down to B, and let's turn B up. Uh, let's turn B up to full power. Just to show you, you can control everything. You've got TTL on Yongnuo. Um, both the AD600 and the Canon 600 are pretty full power. And this should really blow out now. And you can see. And you can see that all the lights are contributing. If I turn this one away completely, the 600, turn that away completely. You can see the fall off the light here on the side of this, uh, my second um, AD600. All that light is coming from the side and the only place that that can be coming from is these flashes over here. So I'm quite happy that, uh, realistically, sorry, uh, the, the reason, the only way I can frame myself in this is by looking at the reflection over there. But I'm quite happy that these are working in the high speed sync. So if you've got any issues, when you first turn them on, try changing channels. The other thing that I was doing and I was getting real frustrated and I didn't know why it was happening, was getting barred pictures. Was I was using live view on the camera? If you're using live view, it completely blows the the the, the high speed sync out of the water. It doesn't work at all, and it also doesn't sync well with any of your flashes so make sure you're not using live view that could be an issue as well hope this helps sorry for the quality but have a good day